Hello, and thank you for the invitation. As mentioned, my topic is ethanol ablation of metastatic cervical lymph nodes in the neck. And for the most part, we're talking about papillary cancer. I have nothing to disclose. Uh, the goals of this session are to go over the, um, the, the very important points of pa patient selection for ethanol ablation, the technique of ethanol ablation for cervical lymph nodes, the potential complications from the procedure, and the importance of following up patients with that have been ablated to be sure that it's adequate treatment. And some, uh, some numerical data on the, the, uh, how effective ethanol ablation is for cervical lymph nodes, particularly in papillary thyroid cancer. Ethanol ablation has a long history at Mayo and Rochester. The first uh, thyroid cancer patient that was ablated was in uh, 1991. It was a medullary cancer that was uh, resistant to any other therapy in the neck and was treated successfully with long-term survival with ethanol. The first papillary cancer was treated in 1993 um, with uh, ethanol. And the first public ser series came from a Mayo in a small series of 14 patients with 29 lymph nodes. These patients were not surgical candidates or declined surgery and were unresponsive to other therapies. 